Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be talking about building a community. What does that mean to you as a real estate agent? Well, unfortunately, I wanna tell you that if you are in real estate and you have uh, chosen the real estate career, then you're supposed to build a community. You know, there is no, I don't wanna do that. You know, you have to do it because that is exactly what uh, being a real estate agent is. You're building a community around you so you can go ahead and get uh, the benefits from those people uh, when they're ready to do business with you. Uh, because strangers will never call you. Uh, if you drop your business card, for example, at a restaurant or in a bar, or you put your name on a grocery card saying, hey, I'm a real estate agent, uh, and call me, um, more likely a person that's ready to sell uh, their $1 million listing are, it's not going to trust that person that just put a, a business card or a little uh, advertising on the site and say, hey, come and list my property. That is not going to happen, okay? So the only way for that person to call you directly to list their property will be that, that you and them know somebody in common, some friend or something like that, and the person says, hey, I'm ready to list my property. I'm not sure who I'm going to call. Well, you need to call Fernando. Fernando is a great leader. He's this, he does this, he, does, he has this experience, whatever. But that's the way how this person is going to be able to call me for a, for a listing for that particular property, not necessarily because they found my business card uh, in a bathroom floor, you know? So just know that... Uh, concept right from the very beginning so you can understand what I'm trying to tell you right now is then what do I need to do in order for me to be able to create more business you know you as a real estate agent you have to understand that you have to create a community around you and the community has to be about people that you like to work doing business with and making sure those people are going to be uh, calling you when they're ready so I'm creating this presentation for you to understand exactly what the concept is and now we're going to start with this uh, and this is what I'm talking about. A community basically is like a room that you're going to have, okay? And I always talk about this for database. You know, inside this room, you know, you're going to have people, okay? And these people is going to be full. And the only person standing outside this door is going to be you. You are the one who's allowing people to come inside this room. That is your community, okay? That's your database, or that's whatever you want to do as far as uh, uh, learning what type of persons you want to work with, okay? You have to understand this community. You have to understand these people that are inside this room, you know? Yes, it could be your friends, family members, and all that, but then eventually you're going to run out of them as well. So you need to start targeting, you know, one specific community that you can relate to. You, know, you need to do the research, analyze everybody, analyze the people that uh, you're trying to attract and making sure that they have the same interest that you do and the passion that you have inside you is what's going to help these people. The demographics that they're ready to spend money or they're going to have money to spend with you or they know people that they have money so you can uh, get some referrals. All those things have to be in detail uh, you know, actually written down so you can have a sense of what your community is going to look like, okay? Once you do that, then now you start having a system in place to be able to start bringing people in here. And I'm going to show you how you can do that, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a few minutes. But I just wanted to understand that you are in the front door of this, opening the door to making sure people are coming in. And that's it. That's the one that you need to understand is that those people are the ones going to be your business. And that community, that database, that is what's going to be working with you. Now, how are you going to keep people happy inside this community, okay? It's not going to be that you're going to go and walk inside or call them and say, hey, you want to buy and sell real estate? You want to buy and sell real estate? You're going to be bothering everybody trying to do that because eventually, you know, they're, gonna, they, they're not going to like you and they're going to leave from that place. And then eventually you're going to be the only one inside the room. You cannot attract, you know, uh, business for yourself by being so direct and saying just that. You're going to buy and sell real estate because you have to build momentum. You have to build it through trust. You don't actually get to ask that question really. 
they're the ones who's going to come to you and say, hey, by the way, I was wondering if you can come to my house and tell me what you think I could be selling the property for. It's because you build that trust, you build that momentum with that person that finally is going to come and volunteer that to you, not you to them. Okay. Understand also that in order for you to be able to have contact with them, I will advise you, for example, to have an active social media that is connected with this thing. So social media meaning Social media, meaning any type of Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or anything that you're doing that is connected to the interest that you have on the people inside that database, okay? And what are you doing with this? You want to invite these people to like you, you know, if you're doing a Facebook or something, and you want them to see anything that you're going to be posting on that. And the community name may be the name of the group that you're starting and you're inviting these people in which that would be better. It shouldn't be your personal account. It should be a group that you're starting about the demographics of this uh, this um, community. So then you can start posting about that, you know, and what are you going to be doing? You're not going to be saying, I want to buy or sell real estate, call me. If you want to buy or sell real estate, call me. You're not going to be saying that, okay? You're going to be talking exactly about uh, the content that they need for, or for them to make a decision in that same group, uh, whether they're going to be selling or buying a home, and what are the ramifications with taxes, what are the ramifications for inheritance, what is the ramifications with attorneys, you know, and other things that are interesting to them because they belong in that community. You start giving them valuable content, not to buy, not to sell real estate, but to tell them, you know, that if you're you know, if you're doing this or you're experiencing this, this is what's going to happen with the government according to this law that has passed or whatever. But you are being basically the person that's going to be the wise one inside this room that knows everything about that community and what are the pain that they're feeling and you know what the antidote, what the medicine is, okay? Now, the other thing that you need to do is, you know, show up what I mean show up meaning that you have to show up to all the community events or any events that are interested for these people or interesting for these people you know whether it's going to be a garage sale or it's going to be a church event it's going to be a fundraising you have to demonstrate your commitment to this uh, uh, community by being there, you got to show your face, you know, you want to make sure that people have a relatable face and picture that you have, let's say, on your business, on your social media, on everything that you're doing. And then by showing up, people should be able to recognize you. Don't put a picture in there that's from the 1950s or something that when you were 17 years old, you know, put a picture that with the way you look now. So when people say, hey, I know you, who, I know who you are. I've been getting your stuff. I know who you are. I know you know about this. Let me ask a question. What happens if this happens or whatever? So all those things are very important for you to maintain, uh, you know, uh, a sync of the whole thing, what you're trying to do, which is creating an expertise status with them, making sure that they're going to recognize you all the time. Uh, you're going to have uh, basically start creating charity drives, start creating uh, garage sales or whatever. Have an ice cream uh, weekend, uh, you know, for the kids or whatever. But, you know, the more you have a commitment to this person for this uh, community, the more they're going to be uh, associating yourself as the expert for that place. And they, you want to create a relationship little by little by doing those little extra things. And that's the work we need to do as a real estate agent. We cannot sit at home and hoping that they're going to, Somebody's going to call us. You know, they have, this is the things that we need to do as a real estate agent, okay? So now, the next thing we're going to talk about is about educational, about the educational to the community itself. Okay, so I will go and write an ebook, videos, and even put a blog. All those things have to be associated with that community okay 
you are trying to portray yourself as the professor of that area. You need to uh, write uh, an ebook, maybe a 12 page ebook. Talk about exactly what are their interests, what are the pains, how to resolve them, and have a questions and answers section. And then at the bottom, put your testimonials and put your stuff and saying, hey, I'm, for, I'm Fernando and I'm the guy who knows everything about this community, who knows about this. I'm an expert on this. And then if you have any questions, please give me a call. This is how you're going to be able to touch it. So now they're not only look, looking at you through social media, they're going to be looking at you for uh, on the events that they're, they're doing on the weekends or something, or it could be uh, graduation, whatever. And they're going to see you there because you belong to those people. You belong on the then you're going to be offering them an ebook and your social media that they can download for free. Basically say, hey, you want to know more about this? Here is the response, the, the, the answers for these problems that you may have. You're going to do a video, could be a, a, just a one minute video. You know, what happens if this happens to you? This is what you need to do. That's it. They want to see your face. Okay. And everything, you basically hypnotize them to telling them I'm the expert on this thing. Finally, you're going to make a blog. A blog post, you may have a website. The website, the more the more closely resembled to the community, the better for you. Because then they start seeing that you are the truly expert on that area. And then they see a blog in there, and the blog is basically about the same things. Yes, that's a good thing for you. And let's continue on and talk about the next step, which is... I'm trying to... Okay, customer service. Okay, customer service. So you gotta do. Uh, you gonna start working with this community. Obviously, you have to show up when it time when it's time to show up. You have to be prepared. You have to know your scripts. You know you need to know how to do it and how to give them a uh, top of the line type of service where they're going to say, you know, they, this person create everything for me, has everything ready. There's no sweat and I'm able to do this. No problem. So because of that, you didn't give the appearance to that you're a true professional and that's what it needs. You need to make sure you're going to provide an exceptional customer service to making sure those people are going to be coming back to you and referring other people to you. And that's basically what it is. Customer service is something that you need to do anyway as a real estate agent. But you do it in such a way that people are going to be thinking of you as a person that is memorable, memorable, that personal real estate agent that will be able to give them the best service possible. And you are not uh, going to skip any details, making sure that you are the expert on that particular interest that they're looking for. Okay. Next thing we know, we're going to do is that engaging okay that's engaging on on different types of conversations that they may have in forums and facebook groups on different places or whenever you're going to a party a picnic and they're talking you need to be out there you need to say hey how you doing and then basically introduce yourself and then then people are going to start recognizing you there but you need to be connecting with them ask them you know what kind of questions uh, what is bothering you right now how is it that, that i can help you because i'm very particularly interested on this community uh, and what it, what they need. And I need to find out how do you find it? How are you finding everything? What is uh, what are the things that are bothering you to that you need answers to? I want to help you. So those things are very important so you can be up to date on everything. OK, then uh, we're going to be talking about the testimonials that you're going to have. We talk a little bit about that whenever you have a closing or something like that with one of these persons, so at least Ask him to give a testimonial because you're going to need to fill this place up, your social media and everything else with testimonials because eventually that's what it needs. It's not going to be built in one day, but this is the plan that you need to follow to making sure that eventually you're going to get to a point where you don't have nothing to do, but just do a little work and that thing is going to keep going forward and forward and forward, giving you a constant stream of uh, leads so you can be, uh, you know, creating more value for them and for yourself. Okay. Um, the other thing, uh, another thing that you can do for for this uh, thing will be um, involve other businesses. So let me write this down here. Let's let's just talk, collaborate. Okay, collaborate meaning that you're gonna be collaborating with other businesses so they can pay attention to your community. You know, 
as simple as that, you can go to the, uh, uh, you know, dry cleaning and say, hey, can you give 50 cents off for, for, uh, to my, to my community? I, 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 I am the expert on this thing. I have so many people and they will like, I would like them to come to you and use your business. And then the guy say, yeah, well, uh, yeah, if they tell me they're from your community, tell them that I will give them, a, uh, you know, 50 cents off from every shirt, whatever. So then you communicate that to your community. Say, hey, I got you this, you know, in case you decided you want to use the dry cleaning. This is a discount for you just because you belong to the community and just because I'm the expert here and I'm getting these things for you. You know, I'm connecting you and I'm hooking you up with these things. So that's just an example, you know, I mean, we can talk about business, restaurants, we can talk about, uh, you know, uh, any type of business that depends on a community to create and give them more business. And then you go ahead of time and say, hey, I represent 500 people, okay? Will you be able to give me a free appetizer on this restaurant if I bring you people from that? I'm going to be writing stuff about you and then creating more thing. And this is the way how we can connect and collaborate with each other. Is that okay with you? So you want to bring value to yourself through these businesses by collaborating with them. And it's as simple as that you knocking on doors and coming to see that. So don't go to a restaurant, you know, in the middle of the day or, not, or, or on the evening time. You need to go over there around three o'clock in the afternoon when they're getting ready for the people that are coming in the evening. They don't have much to do. But this is the time to talk to you. But also any type of the business, whether it's a store, anything that you can get some type of valuable coupon or discount or uh, anything, you need, you're going to be doing this for your community and you're going to bring those good news to them when you go to that, to them and say, hey, I got you this uh, for you. So start using this business, you know, if you want. That's another good way to keep those people, you know, inside your room always falling in love with you saying you're taking care of them okay then the other thing that is very important is that what uh, other people most people don't do you need to be staying consistent on what you're doing and you have to uh, understand that it takes time to do that you know you're not going to build this thing in one single day this may take you a year or two to do that but then eventually once you get that and dominate those things then you're going to find out that you have full control of that community and the 500 members in the community, if they're ready to sell their house, they're going to be calling you. And if, uh, if we're talking about every five years, you know, uh, people move. You have 500 people. That means that 100 people are going to be moving in the next 12 months. That's 12, 100 transactions for you. That's how easy that can be happening. I'm not saying that People are going to move every five years. It could be seven years, but I'm giving you as an example. Out of 500 people, 100 people may be moving out of that place in the next 12 months because of the circumstances that are in general for reasons why people move, move out. So this is why then when they decide to move, who are they going to call? You, because you've been investing on them. You've been giving them information. You've been giving them maybe newsletters. You can send them emails. You can send them social media. You can do in, you do in events. You're going to do those things. And then that's the other part that you need to understand is that because we're working with Samsung properties and we have the availability of a print shop, you know, this is the time when you can actually send something to them and say, hey, you know, here's a newsletter about the community. Here are more information. Here are the questions and answers. They want to see you and the phone number in there and keep associating you with the expert in place that knows all the answers for the problems that they have. Remember, trust is what you're trying to build. You cannot build trust overnight. You know, and then that's what it's going to take. Your job is to maintain everything I talked to you about in one single circle. And that is exactly what I'm trying to say. You know, you have one single circle, which is your business. And you're doing all those things. And just making sure you do it consistently. Every week, every month, this is what you need to do. And then eventually, it's going to pay off. And then you don't have to go and look for no more leads anymore. You can just 
keep doing this thing and be the hero to these 500 people that may be inside this community. So in the next video I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be talking about how can you specifically choose a community? You know, who are they? How, what kind of marketing strategies we can do to be able to find the right person, the right community, the right place. So we're going to discuss those things because it's very important that you choose and take your time to choose the right community right from the very beginning because that is what's going to make you money at the end. You don't want a community that is not going to make you money at the end after all the hard work. You want to make sure you're going to get paid at the end. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to talk to you about this community. And then in the next video that I'm going to be sending you, I will be talking about specifically about communities. And I'm going to talk more specifically about new communities for new home builders and how you can connect yourself and get inside and do the front thing on that and making sure that you are going to be the person for the whole brand new neighborhood from this point on. Okay, see you next. Bye.